My name's Kevin. Um, I am born in the UK, raised in the UK, second generation um, Ghanaian. My family story doesn't really begin with me. Um, it really begins with my granddad and his, his journey from Accra to London. First came over here um, in the 60s. In those days, he tells me that there were no sort of planes from Ghana, so he took um, a cargo ship. The journey was like a month long. When he made it here, people would go out of their way to make him feel like he didn't belong. He experienced a lot of racism, but I think what um, I found very inspiring from that whole sort of situation, he was able to persevere. He had his eyes on the goals that he had. Um, in terms of raising his family, and in terms of uh, making a better life. Growing up in the UK was fun. Um, lots of parties, lots of get-togethers. It was really colourful, loads of fun and fun memories of being a kid. It sort of juxtaposed with, I guess, the main issue that often comes up and is associated with Black History Month, which is racism. And I guess as I grew up, I became more and more aware of what racism was. I, I felt like because of a lot of the race, racial experiences that I had when I was younger, I grew up quite angry, sort of shut off and um, got into a few things that I shouldn't have gotten into. Black History Month, um, I guess for me, um, I wasn't really sure about it growing up. Um, I didn't really buy into it because um, at the time I didn't know the word for it, but it did, it did feel a bit gimmicky, a bit sort of tokenism. But as I've matured, um, I've seen the need to reflect and the opportunity that it presents. A reflection on Black History sets up, or is a great platform to set up Black Future Months. Um, I think having one month where we can reflect and think about um, some of the things that went wrong, some of the things that went right, gives us an opportunity to build a brighter future for tomorrow. So knowing Jesus for me has been, has been a game changer. There's so much healing that's taken place in my life. A lot of the frustrations I felt, a lot of the um, sort of anger, yeah, sort of the hurt from past experiences and some experiences in the present, they don't hurt as much. To be honest, majority of the time doesn't have any power over me. Um, because Jesus has given me such peace. It's given me such um, wholesomeness and such an identity that is not defined by my race. It's defined by my um, standpoint in him, my relationship with him. I believe that every culture, every um, race, every um, person has a story to tell and that the diversity that we see in our stories um, will paint the bigger picture of the one Jesus Christ, Saviour of the world.